be my witness not every not any Muslim Abdul he can tell us what how Muhammad he became a prophet let us see this Abdul here hello hello yes is it CP yes it is hello friend my name is Aswan okay and uh, I am a struggling Muslim you can say okay why are you are struggling because I have uh, I've been watching your videos for a long time all right and I have been reading side by side and uh, it started to you know grow doubt okay so that's why and now today you were talking about stone black stone hmm. I, I, I never get it why a prophet uh, ever kissed it yeah but you know uh, the Muslim they say to us and you are a Muslim supposed to enter now that uh, the black yeah. stone uh, as you heard the guy before he, he said uh, because Allah he sent it from heaven he this is why he kissed it I mean this is isn't it funny that if yeah, a stone coming from heaven we can say so what's uh, heaven mean the space so what does that mean there's many stones come from the space every day yeah meteoroid and that's why I, I always wondered why he kissed it if he was uh, against idol worship I, I also know that it is not idol worship exactly but still it doesn't make sense and uh, after that all Muslims uh, started that practice so you know th these kind of things were making me skeptic about this religion okay only so only, I, only the black stone is making you uh, like uh, not sure is that the only no, thing? no 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 lots of other issues lots of other issues okay. not only this what is what is from my videos make you more uh, like uh, uh, you know taking... no, I, 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 I was never uh, you know too much into hadiths before okay before your video I was only into Quran and something like that. Uh, hadiths were not my thing. So when I started to uh, see your videos and I st started to check the hadiths and everything was there what you said and uh, it was not something like you were making up or something. So uh, I, I grew my confidence in you that you are not lying at least. All right. So, so, so that's why. Speak? And then I saw your video of that. Uh, Abu Tahir, I think, who attacked Kaaba mm -hmm. okay. and, and challenged Allah that send your burned army mm -hmm. because I'm going to attack. And I checked it about it, and this uh, story was in a book, uh, History of Islam. Mm -hmm. And exact things you told were there that uh, pilgrims were killed, and Kaaba was destroyed, and sto a stone was stolen. So that made me very much skeptic of that story, because if Allah is really existing, then why didn't He, you know, even stop him from doing anything? Yeah, because remember, like, they have a chapter. It's called the elephant, right? The chapter of the elephant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how come yeah, when when the kuffar when the kuffar are occupying the Kaaba, when the pagan they have three hundred sixty idol right around the Kaaba, Allah He send yeah. an uh, He send an army of birds to defend it. But when there is there is no uh, idols around the Kaaba, Allah He did not send His birds. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Now. Yeah, so it's a it's a it's I, a lie. There's no proof of this story about the elephant. And how how who in the world want to believe that an army of elephant will go and walk in the desert? An elephant he need an average of six hundred liters of of water a day just to drink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that's uh, what I'm saying. Things are not matching up, and it's it's just like a blind faith. It's. Uh, it is not and then uh, another issue I have I think you can clear my points uh, about apostasy wars okay and whenever I ask question about apostasy wars I don't get any you know any much clear answers can you tell me where I, I can find it uh, proper information on that issue well you know uh, there is many actually uh, because all of, all of Islam all of Islam and, uh, is, sorry, ab is about sorry, apostasy sorry yeah yeah Sorry to interrupt you. I was, uh, yeah, you, you go ahead. Tell me what are you saying? Yeah, I'm saying all the Quran is about killing who they are apostate. And I will explain to you in a very simple way. Isn't it Muhammad he said that everyone is born as a Muslim? Yeah. Okay. And isn't it the Quran says fight those who don't believe? Yes. Okay. That's being kill anyone who is apostate. Uh, sometimes it can be taken into context or not no 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 we cannot. Like did, did Muhammad go in war with those who don't believe did Muhammad he say I've been ordered to fight all mankind until they say there's no God but Allah and there's no Prophet but Muhammad 
Yeah, it's in Hadith, I think so. Yeah, but even in the Quran, no, even in the Quran, let's let's go to the Quran. If we go okay. in the Quran, first of all, we will find <clears throat> okay. If we go in uh, chapter Uh. Let us see. There's many verses, but uh, but uh, you know I, I will try to show you something more clear. In chapter nine, verse number eleven, as an example, it says chapter verse eleven. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. If they repent and establish regular prayer and they practice regular charity. They are your they, they are your brothers in faith. Those do we explain and sign in details. Okay. So what is that? And if they violate their oath, their oath in what? Here they became people of charity, people of belief, people of being Muslim, right? But if they violate your, their oath in what? In the oath they did here, if they became Muslims and they are establishing mm -hmm. the prayer. But if they violate their oath, then you kill them. Okay, and here he's saying to him, uh, "Aren't you going to fight those who violate their oaths, and they pulled it against the messenger?" But here he's saying, "What what he's what he's requiring from them, if they are people who became in faith and they are Muslims, then we don't kill them. That's it. But if they violate yeah. their oath, then we kill them, for they are the chief of uh, fitna. You know, mm. the chief of kuffar." So what is the requirement for those people not to be killed if they keep in faith and they keep staying as a Muslim and establish regular prayer? And then he says, fight them and Allah will punish them by your hands. Yeah. Okay. Now, the Muslim here, they will say to you, it says here that the one who expelled the prophet of Allah. Okay, hold on. The one who expelled the prophet of Allah, you want to fight them? First of all, Muhammad never been expelled according to all Islamic sources Muhammad that he ran away by himself and he did not expel by anybody They did not kick him out. Yeah, secondly, yeah, that story secondly already... Even even if somebody expel me That is not an excuse to go after people and kill them go and live in different city in peace preach your uh, your your uh, uh, Your that you are prophet go ahead. You know you are in different city and now why you are attacking them go there Here we go. He went to different city. They did not go after him it was him who's going after them and he started doing a, a, a piracy in the street no, so uh, actually thing was this not that they they left their uh, houses and their properties back in, in mecca so they wanted to um, take take that back so that's why they attacked mecca yeah you know muhammad he said it clearly and, and not this is not only in the hadith if you go like a different a different uh, verse on the quran uh, as an example, in chapter 3, uh, verse, here we go, chapter 3, verse number 90. 19. 90. 90. Yes. Okay. But those who reject faith after they accept it, then go and yeah. adding their definition the, the to the faith, never will be repentance to be accepted. Okay, so here Muhammad he says if you reject Islam you repent or you don't repent we would not accept what does that mean It's mean you became a kafir. we have to kill you What mm -hmm. repentance will mean and by the way here? This is again the uh, additional uh, false prophecy of Muhammad because there is many of those who left Islam They became a Muslim again when Muhammad he won the war So this is a false prophecy. Mm -hmm. How you say to them? We will never accept your repentance if you leave Islam and then he accept them as an example uh, Abdullah ibn Sarah 
Abdullah ibn Sarah is the one not only he left Islam he got Muhammad busted he said that Muhammad is a false prophet he write for me what I say he is not even okay. though, even Muhammad even Muhammad he made a verse about it from the Quran the Quran and he said that Allah gave me this verse and this is about Abdullah ibn Sarah if we go in the Quran we will find this let us show you the verse Yeah, I think it's a chapter about him. That that guy you're talking about, his relative. Huh? Abdullah ibn Sarah. He is a he is a guy. He was, he was an uh, like a, a scribe for Muhammad. A scribe. Yeah, he was a scribe for Muhammad, and he he noticed that Muhammad is a false prophet. Uh, so uh, uh, he said that Muhammad is a false prophet, and Allah never inspired him anything. He write what I say. I am the one who inspire him, you know. Read with me here this verse, chapter six, verse number ninety-three. Chapter six, verse, verse number 90, 93, 93. ninety-three. Ninety-three. Who can be more wicked than the one who invents lie against Allah, or says, "I have received inspiration"? Do you see it? He says, "I receive inspiration." Who is the one is talking mm -hmm. here? The the inscribe of Muhammad. He got him busted. He he left Islam, and he told the people that Muhammad is not receiving inspiration. It was me because he I say something he say right it there. Can you tell me his name again? Abdullah ibn Sarah. Abdullah ibn Abi Sarah. Abdullah Abu. Abdullah bin Abi Sarah. Abdullah bin Abi as Sarah. Bin Abi as Sarah. Asar. Yeah. Let me see what, uh, what. Let us see what Ibn Kathir will say about this. Let us see in English. Maybe you can see the name in English, so you can uh, get, take reference. Okay. okay. So we go Am to six ninety three. Six ninety three. Let us go to Ibn Kathir. You see my screen, right? Uh, I'm I'm on on English. Okay. I was talking to you on phone. Now I'm starting the laptop right. so I can see your screen. This is Ibn Kathir translation, which is far away from Ibn Kathir in Arabic, by the way, but we will use it to see if it's written there in details. Because usually what they do, they, you know, they cut a lot of from the translation what is written in Arabic. Let us see. Or say I have re received inspiration where it is not inspired by anything. Ikrama or Qutada says that this ayah re revealed about Musaylam al kadhab but this is not true. This is about Ibn Sarah. Uh, قال, so in, this is okay. Let's see. Uh, yeah, you see here, it's it's cut off. Yeah, we can't see it here. Let us see different. As was expecting, they they cut off the story. They cut the story. Yeah, let us see. Uh, let us go to the official government website of the Kingdom of Jordan. <coughs> let us go. To the Mute you too, please, so I don't hear myself twice. Yeah, I did it. Okay. So we go here. Six ninety-three. And this is Tafsir al Jalalain. See here they are saying this is about Musaylam al Kadhab. Let us go to Asbab al Nuzul. Okay. Here they are saying Musaylam al Tu. Okay, let us go and show you in Arabic then. Look like in English we are going nowhere. You know if Arabic we very well, so you can translate it. Yeah, if we go in Arabic, actually the same website. Let's show you here we go. This, the, this is why I, I say like always Muslims like, uh, in English. Uh, uh, the, the, the most thing I have grown about you is trust, that you are not liar. Well, not people, lying. they can see in the screen, I, people who speak. You know, they, if, if it is not written in English, I'm ready to accept it. No, my friend, I can copy in the front of you. And you can see in I can give you the link you can translate in Google all right Google, Google Translate. yeah here we go it says 
وتجهيل منه لهم في معاة عبد الله بن بن سعد بن أبي السرح والحنا في مسيلمة لنبي الله. Okay, so they are saying now in the in Tabari that this is about. But here he said, نزلت هذه الآية في عبد الله بن سعد بن ابن أبي السرح أخي بني عامر بن لؤي وكان يكتب للنبي صلى الله عليه وسلم وكان فيما يملي عزيز حكيم فيكتب غفور رحيم فيغيره ثم يقرأ عليه كذا وكذا لما حول فيقول نعم سواء نعم سواء فرجع عن الإسلام ولحق بقريش let me translate this guy actually you know what let me, let me open Google translation even okay. Google translation will not give an accurate translation but better than nothing so people will not say this guy is making it's things a... up all right Google translation yeah. let us see Google translate all right actually I'm going to copy the whole link and pause it there yeah. in the front of everybody and as you see this is the official government website of the kingdom of Jordan it's translating all right let us see now oh, the, the page coming funny <laughs> it's not coming correct but anyway uh, you will see here the name let us see do you see the name Abdullah ibn Sarah? Let us uh, highlight for you so you can see it. Do you see it says Abdullah ibn Sa'd, Abdullah bin Sa'd ibn Abi Sarah. Do you see it? Yeah, yeah, Sa'd okay. bin Abi Sarah. Now, here it says, let us go down. Uh, Okay, this is say uh, revealed. Okay, well, let's see where he said that here. Let us make a line. Okay, uh, fabricated falsehood and falsehood. The people differed uh, from the inst interpretation of this verse. Some of them they said which which we said in it that the one who said this to us. Uh, the translation is uh, funny, okay. Uh, Akrama, blah, 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 blah. okay. They said that uh, 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 it's a, that the revelation is a lie, and uh, you see uh, here the translation is really funny. Um, here it says that he said that the prophet, peace upon him, he said, Azizun Hakim, Muhammad, he say, Azizun Hakim came down to him. But the guy, he said, the guy, he changed it and he make it uh, uh, from Azizun uh, Hakim, Ghafurun uh, Rahim. So Muhammad, he says, Azizun Hakim, the guy, he write down Ghafurun Rahim. He asked Muhammad, what do you think about that? He said, it's fine. <laughs> so how you, how you claim that this is Allah sending you messages and then you say, you know, it's okay to change it. So the guy in Muhammad, he says something. The guy, he advised him to write something else. Muhammad, he agree. You see, this is the same. Write it the same. No problem. You know? So this guy here, he left Islam. Let us, let us see what it says. Uh, then, then, what that guy? then he said, uh, whether he returned to Islam before the coincidence of Mecca. Okay, so this guy, anyway, he, he left Islam. The translation is very funny and very stupid here. The, the, guy, yeah, yeah. the guy, he left Islam. Because it's using like an old uh, classical language, Google is, is it's not easy to to translate. The guy he decided to leave Islam simply because he discovered that Muhammad is a false prophet. And I challenge any Muslim. Here with me, it says, uh, "Let us see here." The one who said that he said to me, the Prophet Ibn Abu Hassan said, "Son of Ahmad, Baba Baba." Okay, and then he said. Uh, Abdullah ibn Sa'id ibn Abi Sarah Aslam, he became a Muslim and he was writing for the Prophet he was a scribe, okay and then if he dictate to him, hearing what he said, he wrote wise uh, uh, wise if he said whatever wise he wrote hearing all I mean this translation is false, you know, translation is not good so what it's saying here, Muhammad he says something, the guy he said, I will write this and Muhammad he said, okay, no problem, write it there 
you. So imagine I'm saying to you, I receive inspiration from Allah, write it for me. And then you start writing, and then you say to me, I think it's better if we write it this way, you know? And then you say to him, you mm -hmm. okay, write it the way that you 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 say it, it's fine. Obviously, he's a false. So the man he decided to leave Islam. So look what he says here. Uh he's he said if Muhammad is a prophet uh, 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 like it's uh, verses revealed to him he revealed mm -hmm. it it's revealed to me too because I am the one who's saying to me and he agree with me you see the translation yeah. is false but speak and understand right so he's saying if Muhammad if Muhammad he received uh, what revelation is well must I must be a prophet too because here we go whatever I say to him he agree with me mm -hmm. you know so the guy here, he, he, he decided to leave Islam and he decided to expose Muhammad. So Muhammad, he made a verse about him. And then this guy, uh, uh, because of what he did, he went and he uh, hid in the, in, the, in the house of Uthman ibn Affan because Muhammad, he ordered to, to his blood to be shed. Okay. Yeah. So he, Muhammad ordered him to kill him. Huh? Ordered to kill him. Yes, he, he would never forgive him. That's why he said a verse. It says, I will never forgive the one who, who, who says such a thing. But then Muhammad, because he don't want Uthman to, to be upset, when Muhammad became victorious and he entered into Mecca, he said there's four people they have to be slaughtered. Four. There's no mercy for them. It's a must. This guy, he hide in the, house, in the house of Uthman. And then Uthman, he asked Muhammad, please, for my sake, don't kill him. And then the guy, he converted to Islam back in order to stay alive. And then after that, they say that he became a good Muslim. So how the verse says we will never accept the repentance of anyone who uh, uh, who do this to Muhammad, who say that I invented the same as he invented, yeah. and then he allow him to come back to Islam and to be a Muslim. So it's false prophecy about the person saying we will never forgive to, to him, and here we go, he go back to Islam. Mm. But the most important about this story here, that this guy who worked as a scribe, for Muhammad, he got Muhammad busted. Yeah. And this actually, is actually what, what, the, what, the, what, the, what the chapter is saying. This is what happened. If you want to uh, claim to be a prophet, you better not to have a writer for you because he will get you busted. You know your secret now. Yeah. Same story about Abu Sufyan. Abu Sufyan, he was the enemy of Muhammad. Abu Sufyan, yeah, I have it. And Muhammad, he made verses in the Quran about him. Allah promised him punishment, etc. Right later, uh, Abu Sufyan got paid by Muhammad and he converted to Islam. He gave him 100 camel. Abu Sufyan chapter, no, right? It's in the end. Somewhere. And I, I was always uh, wondering why Allah have to send chapter for him only. You see, uh, there's many verses actually about, about Abu Sufyan's story. As an example, when Muhammad, he said, uh, like he said, um, a dream uh, that the the people of Quraysh they will be little as army to face him, but when when the Muslim they went they went to fight the Quraysh people, they found that their number is uh, out their numbers. So Muhammad he got himself busted, and actually even Omar he said, uh, mm -hmm. when when this has happened, I became suspicious about Muhammad being a prophet. Because he told them that he saw an, a, a dream that, yeah. uh, 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 like, let me let me show you the, you know, I'm trying to remember which verse is that. Uh, you know, sometimes it's not easy to remember everything, especially when you, yeah, need, I... when you need it in the spot right away in your head. But I think it is this one, let us see. Yeah, chapter 8, verse number 43. Here, chapter... here, Muhammad, here Muhammad, he claimed that he saw a dream, a vision from Allah. Remember, it's the dream Allah showed them to these as if you. <laughs> so Allah, he showed Muhammad in the dream, in the vision, that the enemy will be few. But the Muslim, they went there, they found them, they are not a few, they are the few. It was the Muslims who are the few. So Muhammad, he got himself busted again. False prophecy, he just told them, Allah, he told me in the dream, and he gave them a Quran. This is cannot be just a statement, hadith. This is Quran, as you see. Yeah. You know? So he promised them victory, 
and he's saying to them well I prom you know I saw in the dream that uh, there are a few but they want they went to the to the to the battle and they found that they are not a few and the Muslims they got they, they got busted you know when I say to yeah. you I saw a vision and not only that I give you a Quran about it if you go to this one chapter 8 verse number 43 to the book of Asbab al Nazul 843 let us see what the Muslim will say about it here let's go to English All right. Remember when God showed them to you in the dream, in your sleep, few as a few, and you so informed your companion of this. They were delighted, and had he shown them to you as many you would flatter the shrunk. So what Muhammad is making excuse that Allah he showed Muhammad. <laughs> That they are a few, but they are in fact they are not a few. The why he showed them they are a few. Muhammad he's trying to to explain why he was a liar. Uh, the reason I told you that Allah he showed me the few because if I, if I told you there are too many, you will be you will be terrified. So Allah showed him a false vision. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It's like you know, you you go to the fight and you told me like you told me in the dream you you, you saw only few will be there, but they are like twice or three times more than us. So then mm -hmm. I, I, I make a verse for you saying, oh, well, Allah told me now that if he show me that there are uh, too many and I tell you that, you will be scared. So Allah, he showed me there are too few, so you will not be scared. How stupid the answer is. Yeah. Hmm? <laughs> if Allah, he showed them there are a few, how come it's not a few? So this is a false vision. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Now. There are a lot of things which are not, you know, making sense and not matching up. It's like, it's like some kind of a, I don't know. I have, I'll be using this word rightly or not. That some, you know, like people manipulate some people like who are uneducated and all. It seems like that Muhammad had the same kind of personality. Well, obviously here you see if, if I say to you I am a prophet and God showed me a vision and then the vision come to be false isn't it this is a false prophet yeah and like there was a verse in Quran that which uh, you are not killing a person uh, Allah is killing it yeah now this is uh, I mean this is just to make them not to feel guilty about about killing others you know what are you doing uh, here? Like, when Allah you showed them into the oh Muhammad you in your dream on the day of Badr a few as number and if he had showed them to the to thee as many you Muslim you would have a flattered so Allah he gave Muhammad a false vision <laughs> Muhammad here trying to cover his himself he got busted he told them there will be few but it was too many so now he made a, a false verse saying oh Allah he said to me yes if, the reason he told me to tell you it's a few I saw it in the dream because if I tell you the truth you will be scared yeah. So my friend, did you decide to leave Islam today? In actually, I uh, if we can say I'm, I'm already out of Islam because I have even stopped saying peace be upon him on Muhammad. That's wonderful. So now, as long as you decide to leave Islam, so you decide you, you accept that Muhammad is a false prophet, correct? Actually, I have already. I, it's uh, I can say ninety five percent. I'm I am, uh, you know. Out of it. That is why I called you because I think you can you can clear my doubts more if you. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to help you. There's uh, there's something more you want me to help you with, because I want you either yeah. to say I am out oh. of Islam, or if you have something else to help you, I will help you. No problem. Yeah. No. Actually, I can say I'm uh, almost out of Islam. Wonderful, my friend. Wonderful. Uh, so uh, don't say almost. Don't say the word almost. Say I am out of Islam. Let me hear it. Yeah. Okay. You can say that I am out of Islam. Wonderful. Wonderful, my friend. For me, my name is a Christian prince, and you know that. And I would like to invite you to accept the Messiah as your savior. What do you say? Yeah, that's that's right, all right. But actually, the thing is this: that I'm I'm always, you know, uh, I have been, you know, born and grown up as a Muslim. 
and i felt like cheated no you know, this is not this is not cheating are you, are you, are you, do you feel che that you are cheating if you are leaving the devil you are leaving the devil you are leaving the false prophet there's nothing no cheating here i'm feeling cheated that i i, I have been cheated all my life that I, i was i was believing in allah and muhammad as uh, all my life that he is the true so i'm felt uh, so i cannot accept any any other religion without you know studying about it more and no problem yeah, yeah i i i agree with you you should not accept anything But do you, can you find someone better than the Messiah to follow, my friend? Do you have Actually, something more convincing? Actually, I was convincing? going through uh, some philosophies also, and I came to know about reincarnation. And okay. I that that reincarnation uh, stories also make me skeptic about Islam, because uh, according to Islam, we we die and we stay in graves till judgment day. But There are there are millions of stories of reincarnation which completely uh, you know uh, refuses or you can say uh, uh, claims for uh, false false that we go to hell hell or heaven or we stay in graves. There is something it's it's soul or conscious or whatever which reincarnate in uh, other bodies. Hmm. So, uh, what, so what 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 uh, what do you mean by reincarnation? I think it's a good idea to believe that there's you know by the way. Uh, incarnation is something like uh, even Christianity we believe that when we go to heaven we will have different uh, body and different nature so you can say that reincarnation if you uh, as, a, as a philosophy uh, we believe as an example that God he came to us as a man uh, uh, I'm know? not talking about philosophy actually I'm uh, I have I have studied about it uh, from religious point of view actually I'm from India hmm. and uh, I have Hindus on my, on my side and it's also a Buddhist belief Hmm. So reincarnation is not something new to me, but it was uh, when I searched about it. Uh, then I found that it's scientific uh, research done by some doctors, hmm. and they claimed that yes, reincarnation is real. Then I saw some documentaries. When you mean reincarnation, that means that a human being he come back as different creature, as the Hindu believe. Yeah, and they and they remember the past lives and uh, the the birthmark we have. Yeah, yeah no, you know, no, you see, for me, I don't believe in those things. Uh, but there is, there yeah. is, you see, sometimes. Uh, like you might go to a place and you remember, like you feel like you've been there before, right? But this is have nothing. No, to, this uh, is, this is have nothing to do with reincarnation. This is not true. You know, this 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 is not true. This is not true. You know, uh, 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 actually, it's not even it's not even just to to believe in this uh, reincarnation because if God when I when I when I reward somebody. Uh, like okay, uh, according to the Hindu, if you, uh, if 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 the God want to reward you and you were a good person, what he will make you in the second life? Let me tell you something. I, I I'm not I'm not buying the st stuff which uh, uh, these people are telling Hindus and Buddhists. Mm -hmm. I'm not buying that. I have done my research and it was done by Doctor Ian Stevenson. Okay. And um, and uh, there are other doctors also who have done the research and they have researched around thousands of cases. And they have concluded that uh, anything else, but these people are not lying or something. My friend, I, I don't, I don't believe, I don't believe in this because people they can sometimes, uh, you see, uh, you hear about the global warming, and they are done by scientists, and later we discover that because they are trying to collect donation, they were scaring everybody, so people they keep donating to their organ organization. Uh, uh, to make the whole world fear that uh, global warming would destroy us, and this is the way we can uh, keep in business. So there is many people they fabricated stories and fabricated studies. The same, you know, if the, if the first job I did in my life, it was in a newspaper uh, to correct Arabic words. Uh, I am not. I wasn't a writer. I was just. Uh, I just. Uh, you know, in, uh, like uh, 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 like the first job I was doing my law degree. Mm -hmm. And then for three months we have articles, you know, for mm -hmm. three four months, articles about how bad the coffee, how disgusting the coffee, how crazy the coffee would cause you cancer, would cause you blah blah blah, would cause you etc. And then suddenly, the coffee became the best one, and tea became the enemy. So it was the for for a few months, tea is the solution for everything. Coffee is the enemy, and then it switched upside down. Why? Because the editor of the newspaper, he received a big check, the newspaper, from tea company. So now they start fabricating articles about the studies made about tea and how healthy it is, how it's going to strain your heart, how etc. So 
uh, uh, you know so when when you pay them money they make the tea your enemy when you pay them money they make the tea your friend the same for the coffee so there is many what it's called scientific studies we cannot trust it really to be true for me okay, I, I believe this is this is fiction because you see first of first of all as long the the idea of incarnation of a human being coming back to life and you know that means it should happen to me and to you too not only for a few correct yeah that that's what that uh, uh, okay that, I don't remember uh, even I, I don't said. even remember what I, what I what I ate last week so so <laughs> this is this is you know this is this is a you know this is there's nothing called some cases either this is happening for all of us or this doesn't happen some cases this is this is funny and it's not real anyway my friend there's many people trying to call but I invite you and the Lord is my witness mm -hmm. to accept the Messiah to be your savior feel free anytime if you have a question you like to ask me you can call me and I will be happy to hear you but still, before you go, I, I say to you again, do you feel like you want to accept the Messiah as your Savior before you go? No, sorry, but uh, I have to, you know, you, you understand. I, you have I understand. No, I'm not going to force you, my friend. I'm just asking you. No problem. It's all right, my friend. Feel free to call me again when you wish.